there guys, uh, Flip here. So recently I've been asked quite a bit about um, basic things regarding Cheat Engine and this is something I probably should have done uh, months and months ago before I started doing my more advanced tutorials uh, but I decided to do a series of Cheat Engine tutorials um, which I believe will be useful for a lot of you guys, uh, especially the, the beginners, uh, that will be more directed at you. Um, I'll be going through, um, I'll sh you should be able to see on the screen right now the things I'll be covering, but basically I'll be going over um, how to use Cheat Engine, just the basic stuff, which is what I'll be doing in this first video. Uh, so finding your basic value, modifying it, then I'll be doing uh, finding unknown values, so finding things like, um, for example, health in modern warfare, um, that kind of stuff. Um, mana in certain games, you know what I mean? Uh, so finding multi-level pointers, that will be my third video. And then uh, doing uh, finding multi-level pointers again, but with pointer scan. So the first method will be a manual method, which is a good one. And then if that fails, you can always try the other one. Um, then I'll be going over finding coordinates, um, X, Y, Z, which is perfect for those of you that are trying to make your own aimbots, teleport hacks. Um, then I'll be going over the um, dissecting of data structs which is really useful if you're trying to do um, well it's an essential thing if you're trying to do any kind of hack really for example this can be used in if you find for example your ammo from there you can go and view the data struct and from there you can create a no um, a no recoil uh, you can um, reduce the uh, time between bullets to zero so you have rapid fire very rapid fire so you can do a lot of things depending on the games. Some games will let you do more than others, but you can always do good stuff. Um, so all these, I think, are essential if you're trying to get into uh, proper hacking and building your own more, more advanced stuff. So I think there's a little bit of um, everything from beginners to the more advanced of you guys. So I'd just like to let you know quickly, those of you that prefer my more advanced tutorials, please don't leave bad comments here. Uh, I will be continuing my other videos. I just need to do this for a range of people that have asked me to do it and I've, I've promised this for quite a while. Um, so let's just get on with the tutorial. I don't want to waste time. Um, so um, feel free, you should see a link on the description. If you're not already on the playlist, I recommend you jump onto that. That way you can see all the videos. I'll explain everything as I'm doing it. Um, so some of the stuff you'll probably already know right at the beginning, but then when it gets more advanced stuff, you might think you might learn some new stuff. So if you'd like to to check that out, if you have any problems with Cheat Engine, then I definitely recommend you check that out. Um, uh, final thing, I, I'm not going to go over um, going over the memory view uh, or whatever it's called because I use Ollie Debug for that, and my previous tutorials have covered that. So I'll only be going over things that I actually think are essential for you to create your own hacks. That that includes trainers, aimbots, um, anything. Um, so I'll be teaching the basics for everything. Hopefully you'll be able to grab uh, some of this knowledge later on and build your own stuff with it when you're programming. Uh, if you haven't seen any of my videos before, I do a lot of um, tutorials regarding hacking. So if you're interested in uh, game hacking, then please feel free to check out my, um, my channel, which I have probably over a hundred videos regarding hacking now so it's quite useful stuff and a lot of people seem to like it um, so yeah that's about it let's just get on with the first very basic tutorial and um, hopefully you'll keep going and watching the other ones so um, just stick around guys okay then so here we go with the first tutorial so um, I'm going to be using uh, Plants vs Zombies for this because um, I've realized that this game has got a lot of what I need uh, to show you guys some of the things. Uh, for other parts of the other tutorials like multi-level pointers and other things I'll be using other games. Especially for when we get to the XYZ one but I don't want to talk about those yet. So I'm going to just run uh, Plants vs Zombies here. Uh, so please... Um, Anyone wondering, because uh, this is like probably the most commented thing I get, uh, anyone wondering, oh, does this work for my game? Yes, it does. That's that's really ultimately, yes, it does. If your game's got protection against uh, cheat engine, you have to use another, um, um, another program to search for memory within the game. But uh, I won't go over that now. Um, so I'm going to run that and I'm going to run cheat engine. So you should have cheat engine on you. You don't have to have this game. You can have any other game you like. This tutorial is supposed to be for any... Uh, game that you want to use, but I recommend you use something you're not uh, that should be too difficult uh, so you can then apply it to the more difficult games once you're okay with it. So, first thing we're going to do is going to select our game th through the process list, just like Plant vs. Zombie or whatever game you've got. Uh, I'm going to start a new game here. I've been messing around with this for a while and um, I kind of got distracted and I played one too many levels. Um, so, yeah, I'm uh, just going to continue here. Uh, as you can see, I was messing around with some memory earlier, don't worry about that for now. 
Uh, so just gonna pause this quickly. Uh, so first thing we're gonna do on this basic tutorial is uh, searching for a memory um, address and modifying. I'm sure most of you have already done this, but I wanted to cover it for those of you that are real beginners and want to learn this. So um, I'll start with nine. Uh, I'll, actually, I'll restart the level. Um, it's my backyard, you see. Uh, I'm just gonna choose a bunch of crap that I don't really care about. Um, and, uh, and, uh, yeah, and that should be all right. Yeah, so. That should be enough. So here we go. I start with 50 on the sun uh, thingy. Um, so what I'm going to do first thing is I'm going to say I want to scan for 50. And now um, this is four bytes because it's an integer. As you can see, an integer is a full number. It's not a float like 50.5. It's nothing like that. It's just a solid number. So I'm going to search for it first thing. And then I've got 5,000 results returned. So what I'm going to do that means I'm going to spend some of that money and rescan at zero. So I spent my money, I'm now at zero. I search for it again in memory. Now I've reduced that to 26, um, 26 um, sun. Um, now obviously the heavier games you'll need, for example, if you, I was doing this in Black Ops the other day, for heavy games like that you need to do a lot of scans because your first results will probably give you like a billion different uh, results. So now we're up at 50. As you can see only one had 50 remaining, you see. So I'm going to double click on this, add it to my list. Now, to confirm that this is the right address, I'm going to put a thousand here. And as you can see, boom, a thousand, we got a thousand sun. If you want to stick your sun, uh, your sun at a thousand, do it like that. That way you can spend any money you like and you still, the value will be frozen at a thousand, okay? So that's pretty much it there. So um, this first um, very basic one is just to, um, to take you through just for those of you that are real beginners of this, you want to learn uh, the basic stuff, that's all you need to do if you want to modify things. Um, now, uh, the first problem with this is that we got a dynamic value, which means that when you close the game, you'll have to search for this again. Um, in order to not do that, you will need to find the static address, which we'll do in a couple of tutorials. Uh, so, here we are, we found this, and that's that's pretty much it for the um, how to use cheat engine tutorial. Now, please feel free to go on to the next uh, tutorial, which you should see in front of you. Um, and we're gonna get more difficult every time so if you're real beginner of this keep going if you're more advanced then I recommend you skip a couple of them get to the more difficult stuff okay so let's get on with that now